Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free Disciple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. Josh Essek, how are you doing? So guys, I'm on a bit of a holiday, so when I look at two vexed, um, while my holiday is on, I'm working holiday mode. So I'm not on for as long as y'all would want, but this is just for the time being. So the conversation tonight is Jack, Jack Ba, Nedu Brazil. How you doing, brother? Jack Ba. What are the careers to avoid? What are the careers to avoid? What are the careers to avoid marrying? So you're going to share your experiences. Hey, Tosin Lu, how you doing? I want to say TikTok banned in America. Oh. As in, I greet everybody. Has it really been banned or they are proposing to ban? If you're watching on TikTok, double click the screen, double click the screen before they ban it in Nigeria to, you know, say, I want another girl walk. Why are Americans we care, dude? Americans we care, dude. Because Nachinko, it does pass the bill. But why do they want to ban it? What's wrong with TikTok? Um, I made a no banner for Yang Q. They are still voting for it. And these foolish people go and vote against it. It hasn't gotten to Senate yet. It's passed in the House. Not sure it will pass Senate. I said I love you, my kids will be off TikTok. You can't love what generates so much revenue for people. You understand? It's like saying banning cars because somebody had an accident. Yankee said them, they use and spy on them. Very, very foolish. They have six months to come to their uh, conclusion. China, they use our spy. 170 million subscribers in the US alone. So many businesses will suffer. America has got Twitch. We don't like Twitch. We don't want Twitch. They should take Twitch and put it where. You know? Okay, if China to ban Facebook and WhatsApp, ah, then they can go ahead and ban China too. Because if China wants to be silly, everybody will be silly. If they don't allow Facebook in China, then they have a right to ban. I'm sorry. If China, they, they should force the hand of China to allow. They should ban Twitter. Twitter is the most useless app in this whole world. I have 350,000 followers there. I never go there. I think the, the worst social media people you are looking for in this life, you find them on Twitter. UK2 wants to ban it. For what? For TikTok, they say it's made by Singaporeans. Someone say moving pick, treating daddy freeze, right? Yeah. Because we're regular customers. We come regularly. <sighs> Why are you against Twitter? Because it's just the 
silly app. Every nuisance has an opinion there. Not many intelligent people there. One or two people are intelligent. The rest are just rowdy and unruly. It's a, the most toxic. So I just go there, drop a comment, see one or two dingbats, block them, and get them off. I only go to Twitter if there's news that say, oh, this is happening. Oh. I said, I'm looking refreshed. Yeah. I did enjoy it. So double click the screen, double click the screen. Let's get into today's topic. What is the career nobody should ever marry? Hey, somebody just sent me stars. Ajiro Oyitsu, Oyitsu. If you're watching on Facebook, bottom left hand corner, you see how to buy my stars. How are you doing? How are you doing today? I need you guys to talk. Let me look for someone I'm gonna bring up. Those of you who live abroad, now go get down. I won't make I talk. I don't say me too. I did tire. Today I'm not gonna to talk much. Today I'm not gonna to talk much. Maybe she won't talk about TikTok. Okay, let me bring Mama Tuzi. She gets sense. If you're watching on TikTok, double click the screen, double click the screen. Tell me that career nobody should ever marry in the UK because you'll be frustrated. Oh yeah, Mama Tuzi, I've sent you a request. Mama says, please, anybody that can help me to help my mother. Woo. Rapture. Come here to beg. Daniela Makun. Yes, Daniela is always a fun person. Let me bring her on. I must say acting. Hey, I, I agree. Care worker? Why should you ban a care worker? Why should you not marry a care worker? What career should you not marry? Somebody say nursing. Everybody from America and nurse. If you don't marry nurse, who you won't come marry? Huh? Mm -hmm. Daniela. How are you doing? I'm good. How is everything? So what career should nobody ever marry into? What career can you never marry? So you can marry any career. Okay, I mean, me being a woman, I mean, uh, opposite this, right? Um, I can marry someone that works on offshore. I just say, make I greet you. Who? Oh, oh, we go talk. We go talk. I did live. Uh -huh. You say me that no marry engineer. Why? I can't marry somebody that works um, on the oil rig. Why? No, the days, the number of days we spend together will be less than the number of days we will spend together. Hmm. Can you marry? I tell you, that's why I can marry here and my husband is in my budget. It's going to work. Hmm. 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 Let me ask you a question. For that America, where you think, if you marry police, What about pilots? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to stereotype. 
I don't want to compare. Let me say, you say they have them. Um, they have what? They for women, but they... Uh -uh. And also the trouble a lot, right? So... Don't you trust your husband? Sorry? Don't you trust your husband? This one where you say I day for woman body. Don't you trust your husband? Yes, trust is not the issue. What if I trust my husband and is um is messing up? What is Hmm. Man, it's it's I don't know. It's it's like to trust somebody that you see every day. That's hmm. someone you don't see every time. I don't know. That's my own opinion, though. It's easier to trust someone you see every day. All right, we've got a gentleman here. When I don't talk your own women, we are time for men. Good evening. Good evening, brother. Oh, good. I don't know what time it is. Mm. So, talking about, I heard, I heard you asking if you can marry a police, a police person. Yes. Yes. Yes, for me I can, but not in Nigeria. Where are you? Um, what country are you in? Tell her again, I think you have said. What country are you in? What do you do? No, what country are you in? You can't hear me. I'm just playing a core research. What country? Which country? Hmm. So you can't marry a what? You can't hear me. It's, 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 it's in okay, bros, leave and come back. Okay. Daniela, now your audio no good. Is it? Mm. There's something feeding into your audio. Okay, let me let me leave. Uh, I thought it was him, but it's actually you. Okay. Let me bring him back. Okay. I got I got it there. Oh. Star. Oh, okay. It's your background. Uh -huh. It's not me because then let me tell you how it works. When you have a noisy background, the noise Instagram will be taking one voice from here, one voice from here. So when you have a noisy background, they will keep cutting you off. Did I not tell you? It's much better. You just remove that person with the noisy background. Who is this one that joined us and is showing us darkness? Okay. Some people who send you requests, they will not know they've sent you requests. Yes, how are you doing, brother? I'm doing great, and yourself? Very well, thank you. Where are you? I'm in Canada. All right, so go ahead. What career will you never marry? Um, in my, if we're talking about it in a very subjective matter, I don't think the issue will be career. I think it's more of personality. But if you ask me my preference, hmm. I would say doctor because I'll never see them. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Those long hours, they are like very critical. You, you're you not going to be having them in the house for, let's say, six days a week. And yes, you may have them for another six days, or it depends on how their schedule runs. But trust me. And um, also, when it comes to you spending that long hours at work, you tend to develop a whole load of relationships and some of them can become romantic. Hmm. I would say. Hmm. 
that's my preference though. But when it comes to the general opinion, I would say it's very, very, very subjective when it comes to it. like individuals. I'll say individuals will now the, your individual personality will not have to play. Hmm. Hmm. Can someone say jealous love? No, I'm not jealous. So no, he has the right to be. He has the right to be. Mm-hmm. He has but the right to, to be. be jealous love and if you have somebody and you love the person, you'll be jealous. Even God is jealous. Yes, now you remind them. You remind them. So, apart from doctors, what else? Can you marry an air hostess? is not there. But if it's for every relationship, eh, there should be there's an investment of time. So when people tend to want to pick their spouse, they should actually think of hmm. investing time. Hmm. They should think of investing time. It's very, very essential. I don't know how some people do it's okay, I married this person here, that other person is dead. Well, I don't see how that works. Hmm. 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 Mm. I don't see how it works. Oh, I did, someone said I disagree, bro. I'm married to a doctor. We live in Canada and she goes to work 10 a.m. and comes back to her kids 5 p.m. And in Canada, a doctor who goes to work at 10 a.m. and comes home by 5 p.m. is not a surgeon. So maybe you can marry a doctor but not a surgeon. But you see, the problem is if you marry him as doctor, if you want to marry a doctor, you have to sit down with her and have this conversation. How what how far do you want to go with your career? Do you do you exactly. want because if a doctor wants to get to the end of her career, now walk, now walk, it's going to be stressful. Yes. Yes. In Canada, there are the there are general practitioners. Okay, so those general practitioners, they are. Maybe doctors who are just entering, getting into the field, they've done their exams. I don't know what exams, correct me if I'm wrong, but they mm-hmm. don't know what exams they do. They, they get into the field, right? Then they become general uh, practitioners. And when they want to specialize, mm. that's a whole different ballgame. And mm. when they now specialize, the money is there, they make up to 700,000, 600,000 uh, neurosurgeon that I know in Nigeria. He makes over $700,000 a year. Hmm. Guess what? He's never at home. He's never going to be at home. He's going to work for that money. And he won't enjoy the money. At the end of the day, it is his children that will enjoy the money. Yes. His house overlooks a lake. When I mean a lake, like, (laughs) the money is crazy. But Hmm. you pay the price. You pay the price. A hundred percent. I agree with you on that. Uh, Okay. Martins, I'm bringing a guy called Martins now. Someone said, okay. All right, Martins, how are you doing? Let's hear from you. Very well, thank you. Let's hear from you. Okay, I think it's good. All right. This topic is quite interesting. Really interesting. Hi bro, how you doing? Hello, Martins. Where are you? Where are you uh, where's the location? I'm um, in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Just come on. I never knew that this could be said. I don't already know you had. This is just the, the cheerful house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they walk. That's like a talk. So. Yeah. All right. Hmm. So as we get to this, this um, career thing, oh man. Um, here in the States, I think, um, there are lots of, you know, look, when it comes to being a doctor and also a nurse, you know, you're usually very busy, right? These, these are girls that, that tend to, do a career, that tend to earn a lot of money, right? And also, I also think it's also dependent on the professional, like, for instance, a nurse. If you want, if she wants, he or she wants to work, uh, most, most for me, for instance, like, you want to work four times a week, it's possible. They can. If you don't want to work extra shifts just because of the money, then they can. You understand? Know, so it's actually dependent on the person, basically. If you want to work 
on many. I mean, I think dogs are different. It, maybe when they call you, you're always you know gonna be working. But if it's a nurse, for instance, you know, you can always create time with your family if you want to. So I usually say it's not because the job shouldn't just ruin your life. It's at your discretion. If you're a military officer like myself, or I'm, I'm both. I'm a nurse. I'm also a military officer. Just imagine that. So, so it, it's a combination of both. So it's actually actually at your discretion as a person, depending on what you want to do, depending on how you feel. Military that's different because you don't own yourself at this point. The country owns you. But if you're a nurse, you, doctors and nurses are not the same. One. Doctors, yeah, if you took one year Sonia, for instance. That they're not, they're not the same because they own you. They literally own you. So it's yeah, totally different. It's not the same. If I can, if I can interject there, right? Yeah. Um, I I, I tend to agree and maybe disagree to some extent because, um, for instance, I don't know how it's done in the U.S. In Canada, the medical profession is kind of very very regulated, in the sense that uh, doctors and nurses they work under uh, the government body. Which in our brain I would say AHS, Alberta Health Services. So mm. you don't get hired privately. There's no private chain, as you know. There is the um, provincial regulated healthcare. So the province practically owns you when mm. they employ you. Then they post you to a hospital, or you apply. Or you apply on that AHS, then you kind of give a preference of where you want to work. Right, oh. which particular uh, area? So they, to some extent, they have a say uh, to where you work. So I like if you heard my conversation earlier, I didn't mention nurses because yeah. that's a little bit flexible. I mentioned doctors. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because okay. it, not, uh, for instance, when when you mentioned, uh, when we talk about IT, right? IT has a lot of, um, I would say, channels. Hmm. You can be in programming, you can be in, um, you can be in support, you can be in incident management. It depends on where you are, what part of IT you you work in determines how much you actually make. And um, if, yes, and if you're in some particular side of IT, you you can actually grow that the job is secure. If you're on some part, the job is not secure. So in the healthcare field as well, you have different parts. Like when you come to nurses, you have the management, case management nurse. You have the nurses that just do, um, or when I say ticketing or invoicing or manage hours on um, a lot of things. Yeah, that's different. So that is pretty much flexible. But again, when I said it comes down to the individual, right? You will have to speak with the person you are with and say, "Hey, um, I'm this kind of man. For me, I'll have that conversation with you. I like. I know that you need. You have. You, you uh, need to have a. You need to have a career. There's. There's got to be a plan, right? We have to plan it out. Okay, for this first so, so number of years, you'll be working. And after this number of years, you will need to maybe take a step back uh, from working or to have kids. And there must be that balance. If you don't plan for it, it will plan for you. And hmm. if it plans for you, you will not like it. I think it's, that, it's actually basically, as I was saying, right? You, you just, I, there are several different, I must call them. And careers you have, for example, if you're a police officer in this country, it's also a career. When you talk about the nurses in your country, like that, it's regulated by the government. Or yes. it's just private hospitals, private owned, most places, especially nursing homes. It's your time, it's at your discretion. You want to afford it, it's at your discretion. You want to work overtime, you want to work a lot, don't kill yourself, it's at your discretion. There's no government thing when it comes to this, as this thing. Nigeria has to overdo the thing, they overwork. They yes. <laughs> I know. And they are that they want to kill themselves on this job, man. Nobody is nobody is true. Work three days a week. What the hell? Work three days a week. That's what I want to do. I don't have to kill myself. That's same. There are other things to do, basically. As a doctor, this I think the doctor when it comes to being a medical practitioner, as mm. a doctor is different in a little, you know, in a way it's different yeah. because it's always gonna be on the run. That's a dicey one. Kind of different. Boomy, so, thanks for popping the money gun. 
And it's actually just basically like that. I just actually guess uh, a student, husband and a wife, that they, they should have a middle ground where they actually have to have a conversation about. If both of them are married, that people don't come. The man is a different person. The man is a nurse. And they don't have a middle ground. They don't have a conversation. True. For instance, they don't want to satisfy themselves here. They want to satisfy how many back home. So this is what time. <laughs> like that, that's what's killing a lot of um, a lot of the relationships here because they are not prioritizing themselves. Yeah, I must say. Yeah, so everybody kind of has their individual goals, mm-hmm. and at the same time, they are also trying to please people back home. Stand up, <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah, I'm not involved. What's your clothes according to your, I mean, according to your size? What's your clothes according to your size? Because okay. some people, they make it a, a point of contact to fly their parents here every year when they don't even have the money. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, if you, if you if your parents fall sick without the proper insurance, you may end up paying like $6,000 a day in the hospital. I, so, I live in Canada, right? So, yes. You guys are enjoying that when it comes to Medicare, what's the Oh, you guys are, I, 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 you, I, I don't want to even think about the, the situation of healthcare in America right now. I've got some friends. I prefer America than Canada, if you ask me. Pardon? Free for you guys. Your medical system. Healthcare is free, yes. But in some provinces, it's very, very difficult to get a family doctor. For instance, in my province, it's not that difficult. But here in Ontario, BC, it's crazy. There is a crazy shortage of doctors there and nurses. But guess what? There, 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 that shortage is there, but doctors and nurses are actually driving Uber. Because the system has made it so difficult for them to actually break in. So they come out and complain, hey, we don't have doctors, we don't have nurses. But guess what? When these people want to actually now qualify, like, like see, we should thank God for Nigeria. Nigeria education is cheap. Yes, yes. Which we, we produce, we it's produce bad, doctors, bad. good doctors. Some of the I best doctors, like my doctor is in Nigeria. I wouldn't yeah. go for, I wouldn't go for a white uh, doctor. My family doctor is in Nigeria, and he understands us. He understands our body anatomy and all that. So. We we bring out the best. Some of the best neurosurgeons we have here in Alberta are Nigerians. Okay, guys, because I have a one hour time limit, I want to bring new people except the guy that just came. So, thank you, bro. Lovely having you guys. The new guy that came, what career can you never marry? That's the conversation. Well, um, I don't know about the career that I would never marry, but what I know is that. Like I'm in the UK, hmm. and from the things, the way things are structured here, and from my own career um, prospects and aspect of you know things that I do, I think that if I want to marry someone who is career driven and who wants to also be family driven, marry someone in education hmm. will give you that balance. The teachers have plenty of time. Mm. So if you're looking for a woman that will be a mother, a housekeeper, and also have a good career that will be, you know, progressive and sustain you, go for a teacher. Whether it is a university lecturer or, you know, any level of teaching. It's intensive during the hours that you are teaching. But once you are done, you are done. You have a lot of breaks, a lot of holidays that you can use for family activities. The other profession that I kind of like, again, because of personal bias, mm. is dentistry. In the UK here, dentists are more like their own, the kings of their own kingdom. Mm. So if your wife is a dentist or your husband is a dentist or your or a dental hygienist or you know anything within dentistry, you are more likely to, to strike a family balance. Mm. You are more likely to strike a family balance. Now, when it comes to other aspects, other careers, I think the problem we have as Nigerians is that it comes down to two things. 
one, the individual in question, and again, the circumstances surrounding the family, the individual and the other person partner in the marriage. Do you understand? Mm. So, in the UK here, or if you are working in care, for instance, full-time job is 36 hours. If you do long shifts, that's three shifts in a week. Mm. It's, it's, so if you are doing three long nights, it's three nights in a week. That is, you are a full-time employed carer. If you are doing three three long days, there are some care agencies or, or organizations where you work. You can actually do longer hours. Mm. So you can actually get your thirty-six hours in two days, and that is it for the week. Now, the fact, the urge to keep going and going and going and going now depends on the individual, what the priorities of that individual is, and also the circumstances surrounding the individual. There are people that really need to work extra shifts to make ends meet. There are people that really need to work extra shifts to take care of the external burden that is on them. Say, people calling from from, from now. Most of the people that you see here working long and long and long hours are doing to satisfy other people. Hmm. So, so left with what you actually need is five to six hours. Hmm. If you are working in a structured government work where you go to the, what they call night five, it's actually night five is night five. Monday to Friday. Mm. If you structure your holiday, depending on where you work, you can actually structure your annual holiday so that in every two weeks you take one day off. In every two weeks you take one day off because like, the way you structure it, you can get a day off, even though you are full time employed, using your pro rata um, uh, uh, leave allowance. Mm. So I don't know so much about so many other careers, but what people do is that we get involved in so much things that demand that put financial demands on us. Hmm. I was talking to I don't know who I was speaking to, whether my wife or some someone about people that come newly from Nigeria and they were working so many hours. I said I don't blame them. They, okay, that was when we saw the news of one lawyer who came to the UK and collapsed where they were working. Yes. Last week, I saw that. I said, I don't blame these people because this, most of these people are owing so many people money that they need to pay. Most of them sold everything they had back home before traveling, and they feel under pressure to sort these things out. And as long as UK is concerned, the only way you can sort it out is to go and work. Hmm. That's, that's the only place they're getting the money from. So when you see them working and working and working and working and working, it might, it might not be because of greed, it might be because of the pressure that is around them that they are trying to play. Mm. But I don't dismiss the fact that there are people that also work because of greed. Mm. There are some wives today who work so many hours because they are competing with their husbands. Mm. Which is wrong. So if you are family focused, it's about striking that balance between being family focused and also career driven. Mm. You can be successful in both. If you work like in that district, if you work in a community dental service, I work in a community dental service, and almost every woman, in fact, that, that is a female service. I'm the only guy currently working in the, in the community dental service in my, in my uh, NHS trust. Now, almost every person there is a woman except myself. But none of them work full time. Mm. They all work part time, and they can work hours that suit their needs. There are people that on certain days they close early. They have reduced their hours. I'm talking about white people, anyways. They have reduced their hours to accommodate going to pick their their, their child from school. Mm. They have reduced their hours to accommodate other family engagements. So in a work environment, in a, in a well-structured UK work environment, they put all of those things into consideration, even in lecturing. Do you understand? Mm. If you are timetable, if you are timetable, like I was speaking to one of my friends, they timetable him to start teaching early in the morning, he has to go and speak to the timetable, he says, I have to go and drop my child in school. 
I can't teach bloody hell in the morning. Mm. They are under obligation to put those things into consideration. Except maybe if you are new with the system, you are not trying not to, you know, be too demanding and trying not to step on the wrong toes and all of that, trying to understand the system. Then you can maybe, okay, they put you early morning lectures, you can accept it, you know, until you gain your ground and then you can start making demands. And they are under obligation to, to, to do reasonable adjustments, that's what it is called. Mm. Because they are not money driven. Mm. They, are, they are not money driven. But for us that come around from overseas, we are money driven. Mm. Most times it is not our fault. It is the system we are coming from. Like I've heard you that you have talked about so many things about the, the poverty of. Uh, you know, how we transfer kind of poverty mentality, thinking we are responsible for our parents and all of those as well. That is the system we are born in. The system we are born into. So a lot of people who travel out, the pressure, there are a lot of parents that I never ever care. Mm. There are a lot of parents that never ever care to ask their child, do you rest? How many hours of rest do you get in a week? Mm. A lot of people in Nigeria don't care about those things. Mm. What they care about is what you are giving them. Mm. Mm. All right, we've got an, another gentleman with us. What are your thoughts? Okay. Um, hi, Daddy Freeze. How are you doing? Okay, so um, a registered nurse, I'm based in Canada. So uh, I think a majority of uh, those that work long hours, I think, are the new immigrants because you know, majority of them they are trying to balance up with the debt at home and others. I thought I think that's the main reason why majority of them work uh, long hours. So that is it. Then. Some you know sometimes uh, Canada I think is one of Canada is one of the most boring country. Most people that are addicted to working. Sometimes if you have some work with dinner, so we don't have friends. You be like no, um I just want to, I just want to I be working. I just want to be seeing my family. You know, you know, you know, you know that kind of stuff. I just want to be you know mostly I think introvert. They be like no, let me just be where I will be seeing my colleagues and working. You know for the fun of the work, but. They're just doing it for, you know, just to cure boredom, that kind of a thing. But I think majority, majority of those that are working long hours, majority are always new immigrants. Because they're trying to balance out most of them, maybe they have some debt at home, they just want to settle their family before they start life and all that. So that is the reason why majority work long hours. Then sometimes, you know, work can be so addictive. Mm. Depending on how they take the work is, work can be so addictive. Like it's working in home care, you know, they don't do uh they don't do much work in home care. So majority of them they like to take off shifts, unlike when a nurse is working in the hospital. If you're working in the hospital as a nurse, I don't think you can be able to work long hours. Mm. But so far in home care, most of the nurses they don't do much. What they do just to some medication, nothing, nothing, no wound dressing, there's no much workload. So those are the people that take long hours of shifts. Mm. So which one can you never marry as a guy? I think in terms of marriage, I think career is not a barrier. Hmm. Career is not a barrier. I can decide to marry my, my colleague, I can decide to marry a nurse, but as a man, I can be working longer hours more than my wife. Hmm. That is if you don't have a crazy yeah. wife. If you don't have a crazy wife. If you don't have a wife that thinks you are a competition to her. Yes. Do you understand? Now, I hear a lot of women in the US are competing and the uk too competing with their husbands who is bigger who has more money is that true yes yes that is true oh wow that is true i don't know i don't i, I think yeah yeah 
Wait, no, what, what, what are the police saying is true? You know, most of the women, they would like to compete. Yeah, I mean, no, this one, I mean, more money, I don't want to, you know, some people have that kind of mindset. That I don't want a man to insult me because he's any more than me, you know, all those others. Also, so I think it's, it's an individual difference, it's not for everybody. Mm. Yeah, so I think th those things happen when you people marry into a partnership mentality. Yeah. When you marry into a partnership mentality, you run like two different individuals running different ways. But if you marry somebody that you come together as one to run one race, it doesn't matter who is doing, who is making more money. Do you understand? It, it, everything will be put into consideration, including looking after the children, including supporting for supporting the husband and supporting the wife. Everything will come together. But when you see two people marrying with partnership mentality, it's they're, they're talking about 50 50. The woman wants to go get money. They have the wife is building house here, yeah, the husband is building house there. Yeah. They are competing who will, yes. who, who will do this. It's, it's all messed up and it's all in the foundation of the marriage that they go into. I, I know people that are really in really good with ladies that are in really good profession. I know a lady, a sister, she's a lawyer. She said the moment she got married, she said she, she just wants to have a child. The daughter she will even return to work after maternity leave. She doesn't even know. Right? <laughs> yeah, she's not first off, she's not under immigration pressure. She's not under financial pressure. She's settled. She's a citizen. She wasn't. I don't think she was. Either she was born here. She came here when she was very small. Hmm. So on any of none of those, those pressures apply to her. So she has four family values, even though she's a lawyer. Hmm. Yeah, you understand? And even if she was willing to even reduce her hours, I know the ones that are pharmacists that that are not too bothered that they, they don't even want to go back to work there. Hmm. Really, in traditional marriage. Uh, reality where the is, uh, I don't want to stress myself. I'm the wife. Let me do the wife later. You go and work your hours. I don't care. Mm. Yeah, but, 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 but uh, okay. Uh, there is another thing. Like for me, I, I can't uh, get married to a, a, a lady that does. Even if I get married to a lady that does a healthcare age job, that's a healthcare age. I can't get married to me. I would, I would rather change the profession for her, or you rather she upgrades to nursing, doctor, any other profession than the health care age. The health care age is one of the most stressful work. It's one of the most stressful jobs. Why do you think so? Under the health profession. Why do you think so? Yeah, you know, uh, the, uh, the nursing assistant's work has to do more of bending, standing, lifting patients, uh, lifting heavy patients, and all that. Mm -hmm.
or the family mindset together. And the barrier should not be that she's the healthcare assistant, but you can encourage her to get into a career, a career that can progress. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Right. I think a health care, I think a health care is, I think their salary in Canada is between uh, 17 to $25. I don't think they have more than that. Unless it's for those that do their travel health care, but which is right to get that kind of job. Hmm. So at least see them earn more than nurses. Like nurses, depending on where you're working, depending on the province, or nurses, they earn $55 per hour, they earn $60. There are even some nurses that work in, uh, in BC. I think there is one particular uh, 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 branch of nurse, I think, geriatric or something like that. And most of them, they are the end $120 per hour. Wow. So I, yeah. that might be people, I don't know, I don't know about you know, your Canadian yeah, if, dollar, dollar rate. Sometimes when you mention Canadian dollar, it sounds so big, but when you convert it to rate dollar, it goes down. Yeah, so yeah, when, yeah, you yeah, you, when you mention Canadian dollar uh, to people, uh, they can think, oh, they're making all the money in the world. But it is the one thing about nursing is that in nursing, they have career progression pathway. You can start as an ordinary nurse, you can be yes. a specialist, you can specialize in something. Yeah, because it has many branches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. has so many branches. So, and the more you specialize, the more you get, you acquire more skills in nothing. The, yeah, more, the more money you make. And if you are not someone that is money driven and greed driven, the more money you make, the less hours you work. Yes, that's true. You so nothing, so nothing, yeah, uh, nothing has uh, many branches. Like, I see someone can work as an ICU nurse. A pediatric nurse, geriatric nurse, uh, AIE nurse, so they have many branches and the higher your specialty as a nurse, the higher you end. Mm. Not like someone is just a general uh, nurse or just an RN. So the more qualifications you have, the higher the pay and I think the lower the workload and all that. Mm. Mm. So mm. I think if, yeah, if, if you check the most of the news, the the the, the uh, immigrants or the workers are always having issues that do complain. Oh, I'm working so much, we are suffering and all that. If you take, if you do your investigation, you see that majority of them are just support workers. That the ones that complain a lot, mostly the support workers and the FK, that the ones that always complain. Ah, we are suffering in UK, we are suffering in Canada. We are working uh, 16 hours in four hours a day. That is the one that, that the people that always complain. You hardly see a doctor or a nurse come online to start complaining that say we are we are working so hard, we are working twenty four hours a day, we are working seven hours in a week. Unless maybe it's just the person just decides to be working maybe for fun or for something like that. But as a nurse, if you work four days in a week, I think you're okay. Working mm. four days alone in a week, you're okay, you're enough. But someone has a support worker working four days in a week, you can't you can't even pay your rent as by the end of the month. So that's the majority of them they do the pushing, that, they work from Monday to Sunday just to make enough money. That's the other thing. So if you are on a yeah. low pay grade, if you are on a low yeah. pay grade, the way to balance it is to do more hours. And then the yes. longer you work, the more it tells on you if you have family it starts affecting your family. And all mm. of that. The advice the I would give is that you're looking for somebody to marry, especially if you are in the UK, and you're looking for somebody to marry, you're thinking about career, and you want someone that will be able to be effective in their career and also be effective in the house, good for a teacher. If the person is educated, very well educated, they can be a university lecturer. Most university lecturers I know here have a second job a second lecturing job as a side also because there is plenty of time. It's workload driven. It's not like you sign in and sign out of work. So you sit with your line manager, they decide on the work you have to do. For instance, after exams, you are given a certain number of days to mark scripts. Right? Now, the script is assumed, say they give you 50 scripts to mark, and it's assumed that you mark those scripts in, in 20 days. Okay, mm. 20 days yeah. around. My dear, you can sit down and mark it in one night. That is your 20 days work done. Wow. That is your 20 days work done in one night. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? So if you are working like that, and today, most lecturers don't go to the office. You go to the office when you have face-to-face teaching. Mm. Do you understand? Many teachers have gone online. If you have a quiet home, if your wife 
has a quiet home, maybe you don't have children that are running all over the place, your wife can actually effectively work from home. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, from that's, home. That's, that's literally just a soft job. A soft job. It's, a, it's a soft job. Yeah. It's a soft job. So, and you can do it as a teacher. The, the teaching aspect is that you have to go face to face if you are teaching the private I'm not sleeping, no. So I'm trying to read. You I'm reading your comments. You don't have to because everything is already on the projector. Just be sliding after the class. You just. Uh, oh, I'm learning yeah. something. To be to be a lecturer is good abroad. Though. It's, yeah, it's true. It's, 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 in terms of in terms of time. Hmm. Yeah, that is why you see lecturers that they are teaching a verified university and they live in a verified place because you can actually do what you have to do from the comfort of your home. If you have a peaceful, coordinated home, not a home where you are lecturing and children are running into uh, the commercial, your wife is dragging me and this and that, they don't recognize that you are working from home. But if you have a home where they recognize you have your space, you can actually work peacefully in a very soft way. Someone said lecturers no get money. How true is that? Much is this money or make we know? <laughs> the, 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 the salary rate is over over hundred thousand pounds. Not monthly. Though. Of course, <laughs> annual. <laughs> Apart from, I don't know if I still apply to the nurses, 
the, the, the you get employed on a grade. That grade will start, you start from the bottom of that grade and you expect to get to the top of that grade in terms of pay. And by the time you get to that top, it's like a ceiling on your head. You don't, you don't earn any other money past that grade. And most professions under NHS, especially in, in industry and all of that, you don't get promotion. Mm. So you don't start at grade five and maybe after five years you step to grade six. No. The only way to go to grade six is if there is a grade six job advertised somewhere, you apply for it. Mm. And you move jobs. So people move jobs a lot. But in lecturing, you can actually start in the same institution as a low level lecturer and grow. In the same profession, you grow. You become a senior lecturer, a program leader, that, 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 and then you get to professorship and all of that. But in the NHS, you need to change jobs mm. to be able to grow. If not, you just become. But a lot of people that, especially white people, that are not very career driven, like maybe the ladies, for instance, not every lady, but some of them, mm. they just have, as long as they're making money, I was, I was speaking to one of my girls, they said, at least I'm not bothered, I don't need all this money that I'm making. You know, I work two days a week, that's enough for me, I don't need any other thing. I was able to speak with a lady, she's a, a healthcare aide. She, I think she should be around uh, around her 70s or so. She says she has been working as a healthcare aide for over 50 years. I was like, oh my god, you're working as a healthcare aide for 50 years, you didn't try to maybe switch profession to nursing or that. She said, no, that she just ended enough, that she's okay with it. I was like, oh my God. So majority of them, and majority of them, once they start working and start earning money, for them to advance, it's very hard for them to advance. They'll be like, oh, how will I start going back to school and start studying? You know, those they'll be like, let me just keep on going. I think it's mostly with uh, the whites. It's mostly with the whites. They're always the ones in uh, you know, on this uh, uh, you know category. I will be like, oh, I'm working, I'm earning money in a month, I'm earning like uh, 4,000, 5,000. Why would I have to start going back to school to upgrade my hmm. qualifications or to get that? So the whites are always like that. I think it's just most of the immigrants are trying to push forward, you know, to get more qualifications and all that. Yeah, and the whites, like over here in Canada, if you check most of the workplaces, I think in the health sector, if you check most of the workplaces, you hardly see a Canadian working. I have been to a home care. If, if in the whole home care, I only saw three Canadians working. I think one of them is a nurse, then the, the two are a healthcare aide. The most people you normally see there are the Philippines, the Indians, and majority of some of the blacks. Mm. You no, know, the government pay them out, so, so most of them that are so lazy to come and work. It's always the immigrants that are always at the top. You see, most of the health sectors. The head at the top are the Philippines, the Indians, and all that. So, that was our I'm enjoying the conversation. I'm enjoying the conversation. I'm learning a lot from them. And I'm sorry, but my Instagram is acting up, so I can't bring new people. That's why I've not announced for new people. Um, the same Instagram that it feels off topic. The flesh of this conversation is that black women lack empathy. Hmm. John. That's a nice contribution. I think we'll just continue tomorrow because Instagram is going to log me. Um, it's going to cut off the video uh, in an hour and I can't add new people. So I've just been reading comments. Um, it's a lovely topic. We've been off topic for a while, but because I can't add um, comments and I can't add new people. And most of the people I sent requests to also do not accept. So I guess we're going to end it tonight. I know if you want to hear me talk, I don't have the power to talk. I want to also hear people talk today. And I've enjoyed these two lovely brothers. Thank you so much, brothers. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you guys. Instagram is going to do their work any second from now. They'll just spam, remove. So I even want to see how long it will take. Um, maybe max in the next few minutes i think because they have issues today maybe they will not be able to yank me off let me even see how that plays oh they don't yank them
So guys, lovely hanging out with you. Do take care of yourselves and see y'all soon.